English Language Academy. Practice makes perfect. Reading. Listen and practice. Guess what? I've got a new job. It's with a mobile phone company called Phones to Go. I haven't got my own office. I share it with four other people, but it's a very big office. I've got a desk with a computer. It's a laptop. It's black and it's really fast. I've got a telephone too, and of course a new mobile. The mobile's very small. I haven't got a secretary or a company car, but maybe next year. Anyway, the job is really good, and the people in my office are very nice. Listen and practice. Yes, I've lived in a foreign country. In Japan, I lived in Osaka for a year. I enjoyed it very much. I loved the food, and yes, I have worked for a big company. I worked for Nissan, the car company. That's why I was in Japan. That was three years ago. Then I got a job back in New York. Have I stayed in an expensive hotel? No, never. Only cheap hotels for me, I'm afraid. But I have flown in a jumbo jet. Lots of times, actually. Oh, I've never cooked a meal for a lot of people. I love food, but I don't like cooking much. Sometimes I cook for me and my girlfriend Tara, but she likes it better if we go out to eat. And I've never met a famous person. Oh, just a minute. Well, not met, but I've seen. Um, I saw a famous politician at the airport once. Oh, who was it? I can't remember his name.、Um, I've only seen one Shakespeare play when I was in high school. We saw Romeo and Juliet. It was okay. I've ridden a motorcycle though. My brother has one. It's very fast. Fortunately, I've never been in the hospital. My brother has. He fell off his motorcycle. Unfortunately, I've never won a competition. I play the lottery every week, but I've never ever won a thing. Listen and practice. Hello, my name is Jim Allen, and I come from Canada, near Toronto. I live in a suburb just outside the city. I live alone now because my wife died three years ago. But I'm near my daughter and her family, so that's okay. Until last year, I worked in a paper factory, but now I'm retired. I never liked my job much, but now I'm really enjoying life. I'm a student again. I'm studying with an online university. It helps retired people like me who want to study again, and it's really wonderful. You see, I left school when I was 15. And started work in the factory because we needed the money. Now I'm studying Spanish. I love it. My son lives in Argentina. His wife's from there. Next year I'm going to visit them for six months. So I want my Spanish to be good. Listen and practice. All countries have different table manners. In the United States, it is considered rude to come late to dinner. If you are going to be late, it is good to call and notify your host. In Russia, it is polite to leave some food on your plate at the end of the meal. It shows your host they served you enough. In China, you should never stick your chopsticks upright in your rice. This can be interpreted as a death wish on the host. In Korea, you should wait until the eldest person starts eating before you start.
elders are highly respected in Korean culture. Listen and practice. School trips. Students like school trips. On these days, students don't go to school. They go with their teacher to a zoo or a museum. The zoo is a favorite school trip for many students. They can see animals and learn about them. Museums are a good school trip, too. Students go on great school trips, and they learn many new things. They learn many new things with their teachers at school, too. Thank you, teachers. Listen and practice. In summer, Jimmy likes to have picnics under a big tree with his friend. He takes homemade cookies and sandwiches to eat. Max and his sister like to have water fights in the backyard in summer. They make water balloons and shoot water guns. On summer nights, Kelly likes to catch fireflies with her little brother in the countryside. She takes a flashlight and a clean glass jar. Sophie likes to go paddle boating with her dad on the river in summer. She never forgets to bring a life jacket and sunglasses. Listen and practice. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm John Warner for the Weather Network. It's a hot and humid day today with a high of 31 degrees. Tomorrow is going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be sunny and warm. The temperature will be around 25 degrees throughout the day. But there is a chance of an occasional shower. So don't forget to take an umbrella with you. Listen and practice. Planes. Planes have changed a lot. Since the first flight by the Wright brothers in 1903. For many years, planes were wooden and they had two pairs of wings. Today, people make planes from very thin metal and plastics. Airliners can carry hundreds of passengers and their bags. Planes carry freight and letters, too. Some very rich people have their own small plane. Concorde was an airliner that flew between 1976 and 2003. It could fly from Europe to the USA in three hours and 20 minutes, twice as fast as other airliners. It flew at 2,140 kilometers per hour. The biggest airliner is the Airbus A380. It can carry more than 850 passengers. It's a double-decker, and its wings are longer than a soccer pitch. Listen and practice. Astronomy Astronomy is studying the planets and the stars 
and people who study astronomy are called astronomers. Thousands of years ago, people in places like China, Iraq, and Greece used the sun, the moon, and the stars to calculate the time of year and the seasons. This is how they knew the dates of festivals and when to plant seeds. Many people, like the ancient Egyptians or the Incas of South America, thought that the sun was a god. They built beautiful temples for the sun. Listen and practice. There are many hot places around the world, but today we are only going to talk about two deserts and rainforests. Deserts are large, dry areas of land. They have very little rain, and not many people or animals can survive in them. Some famous deserts are the Sahara Desert and the Kalahari Desert. Tropical rainforests, on the other hand, receive lots of rain. Rainforests are full of plants and animals. The largest one is the Amazon rainforest. Even though deserts and rainforests are both hot places, they differ in many ways.